Good morning, babes. It's Carlisa Victoria. I am back with another video. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So I've been up since early this morning and I'm sitting on in the car right now. I've actually been filming some, not filming. I've been on the phone with the Department of Business and a whole bunch of different like phone calls that I had to make. So I just kind of sat in the parking lot and I've been doing that. I'm about to go back home and work on some business stuff that I need to work on. Um, I literally am just, today has already been a lot and it's not even a long day yet. Like, it's already been a lot and it's not late in the morning yet. It's like probably like nine o'clock, nine, nine something. And I've been up since early this morning just getting things done, productive. I'm supposed to go get my lashes done. I pulled up and when I pulled up, my girl who does my lashes wasn't there. So now I'm debating like, do I wanna go get my eyebrows? Like touched up and get my lashes or do I want to not let her do my lashes and grow my lashes out so you guys know my lashes aren't too too bad my eyes do look like I need to drink some water though because they are looking a little yellow at the moment dehydrated of course um but my lashes aren't super super bad and you guys know I've been having that uh Rihanna Fenty uh mascara my bottom row looks really good actually my bottom lashes look very 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 good um, considering that I always have my top lashes done. So like when I'm looking at my lashes right now, they're not like super, super bad, but I do need to grow them out. And I just kind of been to a place where I just really want to get back to the most simplest routine to where I'm not going to get my lashes done like that. Like I'm wearing my mascara. I want to get back to that. Like Mascara can be very annoying because of the length of time that it takes you to just like have to do the strokes and all of this. But when you start adding up how much it costs to do lashes and stuff like that every two weeks, it's like a cost that could be cut out. But at the same time, it's like when I have my lashes done, you know, I know that it's going to be what it need to be. But sometimes it's like, okay, if I do individual lashes, I'm paying $80 to start the lashes and then $60 for maintenance every two weeks, right? If I do clusters, I'm spending $40 every two weeks to do my lashes. Once a cluster is missing, you just look like cross-eyed and inflicted and a whole bunch of other things. So sometimes it's like, eh, I really don't want to deal with that, but I'm not going to hold you. I'm still thinking about like, should I go get my lashes done? Because you know, that's just something that I do as far as maintenance. I do my nails, my toes, my lashes. My hair, I do myself, but I really want to get to a place where I could be just doing less maintenance. Um, I don't like to go do the maintenance, but I like the outcome of the maintenance. The nails and the toes, like because I get gel toes, because I get SNS on my nail, I really can go like a month. It, my nail people are good, the two people who I've been using, and then my toe people are typically good on the gel. So both ways it's like, I could go a month without needing nails and toes done. But when it comes down to lashes, lashes could be something that I either need to have done every two weeks, or if I don't do my lashes, then I could just wear mascara. Like I notice the difference when I don't have on lashes, like false lashes, but at the same time, I'm okay with putting on mascara. Um, I'm looking at my lashes now, y'all, and the, some of them are straight. I don't have curly lashes. Like my sister, my nephew, some of them, they have curly lashes. And I know it could be annoying, but really when you're like trying to do your mascara and stuff like that, them curly lashes really can really hit. It's me with the straight lashes. Um, I don't really have too much of curl. I have curls at the end and everything else goes straight. And then my bottoms are curly. So, I mean, mascara is a piece of work, but if it's done right, it can look decent, you know? And I just feel like I wanna grow my lashes back out. I've been saying that now's the perfect time to do so. But I don't know if I want to upkeep that lash life. I mean, like the uh, mascara life. Sometimes it's just easier to go get the lashes done. She going to make sure she come park over here to be nosy. And I'm about to watch her. Give me a second. She literally moving her parking space so that she could come over here to be nosy. Oh, she see me watching her. Yeah, nosy. Look y'all, so like I'm saying, I'd rather like keep maintenance low, but also keep costs low. I'm really gonna be strategically budgeting this upcoming year. And I know like lashes is just a part of my thing. So when I do say I wanna cut them out sometimes 
and da da da. It really just helps my morning routine. When my lashes are done, all I have to do, like on days I wear makeup, all I have to do is just add a little bit of concealer um, to give me a little highlight and then add some bronzer. That's it. Most of the time, I don't even do a full face makeup. I don't. I'm just the girl who could just put a quick little concealer for a highlight and bronzer. And if my lashes are done, that's going to take me two minutes, maybe one minute. But when my lashes aren't done, then I have to be in the mirror like trying to put the mascara on, you know? So that's the only thing. Mascara takes a while. And some people are like, why don't you just wear your natural lashes? And it's like, it's not about not knowing how to embrace my natural self. It's about the actual routine. Just It's just, it's a, it's a lot simpler when my lashes are done. So yeah, today I was going to go back and go get them done. But now I'm starting to think I might not go get them done. I don't know yet. I keep looking in the mirror and if anybody's watching me they probably like why is this girl so obsessed with herself I'm really not I'm just trying to see if I should um go get them done or if I should just go home and really do a good mascara to see what I can achieve and that's part of what I want to do go home and try to mascara this out because if I stop putting false lashes on then I won't be losing lashes you feel me I will be gaining, like I will be growing my lashes back out, which means every time I do mascara, it's going to get thicker. It's going to start looking better because I don't have any lashes coming out. You know what I mean? My lashes aren't, my lashes won't be coming out like they would be coming out if I had on false lashes, if that makes any sense. So I am debating that. Um, oh, her hair is cute. Yes, Miss Mams. I'm not gonna lie. The Grams, the grandmas, the Grams, they have been really crushing it lately. They've been really like taking over around here when it comes down to like the way they're styling their hair. Um, y'all is taking over. Y'all little hairdressers is hairdressing, okay? Because they looking good, okay? But anyway, um, yeah, I'm sitting in the car. I'm just trying to figure that out. But I'm going to be strategically budgeting and setting up goals and plans and things like that. Because I feel like lately, your girl's spending habits has been poor. And when I say poor, it's just like, I know I'm buying things for like holidays and for this or for that. But it's like, I really can cut out some of this cost. I'm going to go to Plato's Closet. I'm going to go see if they're going to accept any of the items that I have. I really need to go to Goodwill because Goodwill has some items that... I mean, Goodwill has, I have some things for Goodwill that I need to give away, but I don't want to go to Goodwill because I think I'm going to fill my car up a little bit more with Goodwill items. So I just kind of don't want to make a trip and then make another trip. I'd rather have all the things that are going this place, that place, where they need to be, even with Plato's Closet right now. But Plato's Closet be playing me, and I'll be liking that. So I'm going to call to see if the girl that I know is up there because she has known me for years and she knows that i bring quality things and when they start hiring new people new people don't know how to really read designers and they'd be ready to give me two dollars for something that's literally clearly worth thirty dollars in your store and i know plato's you know they got to take off their money for whatever but they don't really give too 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 much money when it comes down to the things that you need to get done her boots are super cute um they don't give you too too much money so um yeah i know that but sometimes when you go to go resell items it just takes a little bit longer to resell like if you put them online but you guys i'm going to be relaunching and rebranding and re-strategizing for my cosmetic line y'all know i have my own cosmetic line been at it i'm going to be revamping and rebranding and re-strategizing a lot of things because i started doing very well and then it started to level out a little bit and then hit or miss on purchases. And I just want to get back on a consistent flow. Because you girls were loving my lipstick line. Like my cosmetic line. Because I have other options. But please support your girl. I'm going to be posting on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube for you guys. So you can see like my products. But I'm going to organize my guest room. I think I'm going to partially turn into like a room where I could actually also work for business. Because my room I could do some things. But if I'm too much downstairs like in the common area bricks is gonna whine he's gonna cry he's gonna do every freaking thing and it's just gonna make it very difficult to get anything done so what i'm gonna do is um really work on that i'm trying to see if i'm gonna go get these lashes done right now 
No, I think I might go home and do mascara today. And if I get my lashes done, I'll get them done tomorrow. Um, because I want to see if I can really like work up a good look with mascara. If I can, I'm, I think I'm gonna just gonna start putting my serums back on my lashes to let them grow, and then starting to put my mascara on for volume and all that. And the Fenty uh, Hella Thick Mascara, and I told y'all before, that one is my favorite now. And I also like Better Than Sex. That's still gonna be one of my favorite ones. Those are my top two favorite mascaras. So if you're a mascara girl, Better Than Sex and Hella Thick by um Rihanna hella thick is $19 and I think better than sex is no more than 20 25 dollars but if you're trying to you know preserve costs or whatever those are good mascaras to have but I'm I'm really feeling that Fenty so yeah I don't I've never tried her first mascara Rihanna's but I heard that it wasn't all that much a hype but the second one, the hella thick, like, girl, I like it. And I told y'all before, I like it. So I will be wearing it. So I'm going to be working on doing the hella, um, doing my mascara when I get home. I'm going to work on some business things. I need to clean my house. And I have, excuse me, some appointments that I need to set. So I'm going to be working on that. I got things that I need to return back to the store. I got so many things that I need to do, but I'm going to keep you guys updated as to what I need to do and what I'm going to need to get done. But like I said, you guys just, tap in because you know your girl is always gonna be with the the ish in a good way okay um so tap 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 in landon shout out to you if you're watching this video i love ya um thanks for always supporting my channel and thanks for your positive comment that you just put on my video yesterday miss you and i'm gonna see you sooner than you think so if you catch this video i hope you heard what i just said I'm going to see you, bro, sooner than you think. So, yeah, I'll be I'll be hitting you up soon, actually, to talk about that. But thank you for always supporting my channel. Definitely appreciate it. And anybody else who supports my channel, I see a lot of you guys are often returning. I'm starting to get feedback. Alicia, uh, a lot of y'all, like, I, I start to see that you guys are commenting on a regular basis or being supportive, and it just means the world to me. Um, I tell you guys all the time, I take returning subscribers returning family family all of that over and over again over just random followings like i love the support that i've been getting tiktok you guys are showing out um for mr bricks i know my following is going up slowly but my likes are definitely showing me that you guys are liking the content that i'm posting let's strive to hit 10k by the end of this week on our likes for tiktok and then for instagram and youtube let's just keep running it up thank you so much for the brands and the businesses who have been reaching out to me saying hey we're a small business we want to be a part of your small business what can we do to really like match energy and and do something thank you so i'm working on a lot of things behind the scenes i'm not as vocal right now or as active as you think you might see me post something on social media to keep you know the activity going for my pages but a lot of times i'm also working on the back end on a lot of things so if you feel like i'm ignoring you or you feel like i'm just not able to get to you back within a timely manner to really just cover a lot of topics and things like that i'm not ignoring you you are important it's just there's a lot on my plate i just wanted to give you guys an update we have a month and a half left of the year i have some traveling to do i have some business to handle and by january 1st i want to be literally back on my routine health wise um working out fitness wise business wise personal wise i just want to be better and i know it doesn't take the first of the year for you to be able to get back on these things but by the first of the year i want to be actively back in these routines eating healthy um not uh cooking more like i've been cooking a lot but i've been gone a lot and when i'm out i'm eating out i'm having drinks i'm gaining weight I'm literally doing things that I shouldn't be doing if I was on my normal routine. I was not expecting her to get out the kidnapping van. She's like, literally look like she's about 18 and she has like the 10 seater, 12 seater kidnapper van. She might be older than that. But anyway, I just feel like I want to really maximize the life that God has given me. And the only way to do that is to get back in a routine and schedule block and know exactly what's going on in my day. You should know what's going on in your day every single day, even if it fluctuates. I am thinking about two I know that I have my businesses that I'm running, but sometimes the company that I used to work with back in the day that I told you guys, like for, I've ended up working with them almost every year for the last four or five years. Sometimes I want to go back because I think the stories of inspiration that I find and hear from people are such a testimony. And when I'm working there, I literally feel as though I'm there for service. Like I'm there for community service. Like 
basically like I'm an open portal to talk to people who might come in and say, hey, I need this inspiration bracelet because I have cancer that I just found out last week or I got this, I need this inspiration bracelet because you know, this is the the last bracelet that my mom picked out before she passed away. So I have to hear so, so many stories and it's just so crazy because I do feel like, like when I'm working there that it is a part of my testimony. But at the same time, I feel like the conflict that's been happening when I do go back has always been like my schedule. Their schedule versus my schedule sometimes does not match. So if I do go back, I would potentially go back as just like a regular salesperson. I'm not gonna try to be managerial or anything like that potentially, um, because I know that it does bear responsibility. And being that I have my own brands and brokerage and stuff like that, I kind of don't want to do too much, but that's only if I decide to go back for like holidays or whatever. Um, but if I don't, it is what it is. It's always gonna be love with them. They, they have a big place in my heart and they're always gonna have a big place in my heart. But that's just me just telling you guys some thoughts. I'm still working on, um, I have to do a specific thing for my notary. You guys know I've had my notary um, stamp for now about a couple years and I'm trying to work with this one company um, and they want me to do some specific stuff like course training and then a meeting and then some things. And if I do that, then we can get to working, which I will be doing days in the life of a notary at some point like I do the real estate um, but I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what I got going on I got a lot of other things behind the scene that aren't divulged at this moment but I just want you guys to know that I'm working and I want to get back onto my regular upload schedule my phone may overheat soon I'm, I'm filming off of my 12 Pro Max I don't have my camera with me so that's why I'm kind of talking fast because it is in the sun but I just want you guys to know that I'm going to be posting and uploading more often again and then outside of my shorts my YouTube shorts <sighs> Um, and then also I'm going to be posting some videos that should have been posted that are in my camera or in my phone and I'll be sure to put the date on the screen so you guys know that it's not like, you know, you'll know what dates, time frames, month, whatever it came from so you guys can have some content to enjoy. I'm not sure if I'm going to participate in Vlogmas this year. I may, but I definitely want to make sure that my videos are definitely of good quality and um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know, are you a mascara girl or are you a lash girl? Um, are you a natural hair girl? Are you a weave or extension girl? Just let me know. We need to get active in these comments because you guys really do view. You comment on the YouTube shorts, you comment on the community posts. I need y'all commenting more on the videos so I can know that you like them or just know that you're engaged but both ways any support level that you give my channel I'm always going to be grateful for that so follow me on Instagram YouTube TikTok be prepared for the things that I have coming um, subscribe to this channel my major pages are at Cray Lisa Victoria which is spelled the exact same tape exact exact same way as my youtube name i will see you beautiful babes in the next video stay tuned because i have some vlog content that's going to be coming especially when i go out of town you guys better be ready for the vlogs because they're gonna be good i'm gonna probably bring both of my cameras if not just one of my cameras and make sure that all my batteries are charged devices are charged so i can get this footage make sure that my sd cards are ready i have a 50 dollars gift certificate to best buy and i might go up in that jink and just buy sd cards so yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.